This is part two of Angela's introspective hypnosis session. In part one, you met an attachment who was pushing Angela to follow a dream that was not her own. In this video, we will confront a man attached to Angela for nearly her entire life, overwhelming her with fear, depression, and addiction. And now we are traveling back in time. Listen as we use empathy to connect with this soul attachment and help him move on. Now, on three, I'm going to talk to another energy. Do you sense another energy on your body anywhere? Mm -hmm. Which place is Show me which place. Okay. What uh what color is it? Gray. Gray. Do you sense is a female or male? I don't know. Male. Male. Okay. Okay. On the three. When I said three, I'm going to start communicating with the uh, different energy than Angela. And uh, we'll, we'll just we'll just talk. So one, two, three. Hello. Yes. What is your name? Why? What is it? Why? Why? How long you been uh, with Angela? Maybe fifteen years. Fifteen years. How come? Uh, why would you uh stay with Angela? Why you yeah. chose? Why you chose her body? This is where I want to be. That's where you want to be. Mm -hmm. Why? She gets so much. What do you mean? I just want to take it. Can you speak louder to me, please? She gets so much of everything, and I just want to take it. Oh, you want to take it. So, when you when you die, your uh, last day of your life. What happened there? Do you remember? Why? 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 Oh, we just want to know. I just want to hang out with you and talk. Just know each other. Would you tell me what happened with you? I was sad. I was in the car. I crashed. Your car is crashed? Mm -hmm. Okay. What kind of car you have? It's an older Impala. It's a nice car. I had a lot, but I was sad. I was drinking. Oh, I was okay. alone. Uh -huh. Sad all the time. And I crashed it. Mm -hmm. Where did you see uh, Angela? There. What did you say? I said, uh, when you die, you have that crash, you've been drinking, driving, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, how come you didn't go to the light? I wanted to be somewhere where I could get the good things again. Uh -huh. I didn't appreciate them when I had them. But now, uh -huh. So I'm attacked. She doesn't feel them. I just take them off, but I still don't feel them either. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? 
Do you like in, uh, being in her body? Sometimes. You say sometimes, so that means not always, right? What's what's you don't like? Feeling. What? Feeling the bad stuff. Oh. You mean, uh, what does that mean? I just wanted to be happy and she still gets sad and bad things still happen. Well, well, in you and you, her body is such a long time. What, what kind of um, symptoms do you cause in her body? Depression. Oh, is that you? Mm-hmm. Is that because the drinking problem? Mm-hmm. I have her yes. eat different things. What do you mean? She doesn't drink. She eats instead. Oh, okay. Is that you also? Mm-hmm. So the addiction, that's you? Mm-hmm. So addiction and, um, I see, uh, depression. And distancing. Oh, that's you too, huh? How come you distancing, make her distance? You were distanced with your family? With everybody. With everyone? You feel uh, depressed? Is that why you were drinking? Mm-hmm. Did you have any kids or why? No. How old you were that? 50 something. Oh, 50 something. Like five zero, fifty mm-hmm. something. Okay. Oh, I see. And you have no kids, no wife. Where Where did you work? What is your occupation? I'm own business. Working okay. cars. What did you do with cars? I worked on them. I fixed them. I made a lot of money, but it was just me. Okay. Oh, like a mechanic sort of deal? Mm-hmm. Do you have your favorite car? The one I crashed. Oh. It's the one I wanted to crash. Yeah. So did you have a plan to crash that car or that was an accident? I didn't care. You did not care? Do you know now looking back on your life, what purpose did you have? Didn't have one. Everyone has a purpose. And you are spirit now. You should remember your purpose when you had that body. It was just to fix cars. I did that. I liked it. But that was all I focused on. Mm-hmm. And I did that to get away. That's how I started. Didn't you have any a uh, girl that you love? No. Any man that you like? No. So you were very lonely, huh? Mm-hmm. Why would you distance yourself so much? Is there a reason for that? People didn't understand me. I was too smart where I was. I was in a small town Mm -hmm. and I was really smart, but my limit was cars. I could have been an engineer, I could have been anything, but nobody understood me. They only talked down on me, so I isolated myself, just stuck to cars. I see. How, how, why would you not go to big city and be someone? I wasn't a social person. Well, you could have so much more. I didn't think so. No? Okay. How about your parents? Do you see any of them? They were mean. They were mean to you? Is that what you said? Yes. I see. Any symbols like sisters, brothers? Mm-hmm. 
do you remember if you have sisters or brothers? Well, in the moment when you passed away, did you see any uh, light to come to you, to take you? No, it was dark. Uh -huh. So when you when you passed, did you die in the hospital or there on the street? On the street. On the street. And when did you see Angela? What occasion? She was on the street too, somewhere? Mm -hmm. How did you see her? Do you remember how you find her body? Playground? Say it again. Playground. Playground? Is that playground was near to the, your... At her school. It was at her school. I don't know how I got here. Oh, I see. All right. That's fair. Uh, what's everyone what calling you? What's your name? Mechanic name, like Bob. You say Bob? It's a mechanic name, yeah. Bob. Why you say mechanic name? Doesn't matter. I see. Do you remember your last name? Roberts. Roberts. Okay. Well, so you causing so many, so many um, symptoms to Angela. I think that's fair. I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, you should care. You're a nice person. You you fix people cars. And you're smart. You should figure it out. Look inside of you. That's look, the right, point. look right inside of you. Do you see any light there? I have to hold on. What is it? I have to hold on. You have to hold on? Mm -hmm. There's nothing else for me. Oh, yeah, that is a whole lot for you. Let me tell you. That is, Cherie was near you in her body. She decided, and I think she did a great choice. She decided to go back to light. She met her friends. She met her family who loves her. Everybody love each other so much. There is so much purpose. There is so much love. There is so many good things on the other side. And you can be reborn again with the new life, with the new parents, with the great family who will love and care for you that you never, never had in this life. Would you like to have that second chance? Can I tell you something? Sure. I love it. When she was four, she had a beer. I made her drink it. But after that, her family didn't have a lot of alcohol around. Yeah. But they had food, so we chose food. Oh, I see. You try, huh? But it wasn't a lot. They didn't drink a lot. Yeah. See, do you think that's fair to her? Not to a child. No. I know, you, you're you bigger than that, Bob. You Especially can... doesn't like when people drink now. Yeah. It's terrible. It's, uh, you never yourself, right? When you drink? Yeah. Yeah. He's afraid, yeah. You just were very disconnected. And maybe that was your purpose. You know, to be disconnected. Maybe that was, I see a lot of people who have very strange, very, very strange, trust me, very strange, you know, uh, tasks that they have to feel. They have to have the experience to feel disconnected, to feel not love, 
now you are stronger soul you know how that feels you know so next time you will be reborn you will have absolutely different experience because before we get born we choose our families we choose our purposes and stuff so i think you have a chance to redo it and redo it different better what do you optimism sometimes yeah. rubs off i can well that optimism is just me talking right now i can call your guides and they can show you what's on the other side before you go before you decide would you like to do that it's nothing else here might as well let's do it you want to try sure let's do this i'm gonna count to five that would be your own guide here to take you to another side and show you how that is there before you decide because before you leave we're gonna we're gonna exchange some energy and stuff but if you decide first so i'm gonna go ahead and count to five and you'll see the angel or your guide come over to get you to show you the stuff so one two three four and five do you see anyone near you yes describe it to me what do you see long hair short neck big head yeah smiling long uh, dress with the arms out looking yeah. up, smiling they seem nice you you should smile too you smile <laughs> do you wanna or do you wanna go ahead and peek where you're going? How do you feel about that? I think I'll, I'll be okay. I'm tired of being sad. You don't have to be. There is another choice. There is another options. Go ahead and check it out where you would go. Tell me what do you see? I see a bunch of black hooks. Uh -huh. Black hooks on a pole. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you see any uh, beans that are waiting for you with, with love and care? Yeah, I see my nana. Do you recognize anyone? My nana and Here you my are. dad and my mom. Oh my, my mom God. has a pie. She's yeah. Like, just yeah. Okay, I'll go. Do you see what I mean? They've gotten better because oh, they yeah. to miss me. Oh my God, they love you so much. Been such a long time stuck here for no reason. You beat yourself for no reason. You like to go? Yeah. I think you're doing great decision, Bob. Hey, before you go, would you return Angela her energy, please? Okay. It's in my back pocket. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. Go ahead and leave it for her. Also, uh, that would be nice if you apologize for all these years causing all those things. What do you think? Okay. Just go ahead and apologize. Oops, sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Bob, so much. Let me talk to Angela for a little bit. Just hang out with me right now. Okay. Angela, are you listening? Yes. Would you take from Bob all the energy that he took from you? Yeah, that's a lot coming out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you take it back, please, and put it back where it was supposed to be? Okay. Thanks, Bob. You're doing great. Go ahead. Go ahead. Talk to him. What do you want to say to Bob? I hope you feel better and you move on and enjoy your family and your new purpose when you're reborn. Because I think everybody 
you know, I think everybody has a purpose, everybody has a passion, something they can be doing. It just makes them better, you know, this makes it all worth it. And I hope you find that this next time. Yes. Oh, that's that's a great words before he leaves. Okay, let me talk to Bob again. Hey Bob. Yes. That was nice, doesn't it? Yeah. She forgive you. She give you she already give you love. Look at that. You'll have even more, so much more. Ocean of love when you go back to another side and get another chance. So go ahead and leave. You you go ahead. Good luck with everything. You can go now. Thank you. Angela. Do you see him leaving? Yes, yeah, going into a little bubble. There you are. My stomach starts feeling weird. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and put some, I don't know, your things in there. What would you like to fill it up with from you? Love. Mm -hmm. um, acceptance. And trust. Confidence. Confidence. Joy. Yes. Um, fulfillment. Yes. Excitement. Vibrancy. Yeah. Spunk motivation good let's put all of that all all those good things fill it up fill it up fill it up that place patch it smooth it down make it right okay how do you feel so far better better all right i need you to look from the top of your head to all the way to your toesies and check all your body if you see any other energies that is not yours scan really good and see if there is something it's not yours what do you feel so far simple okay any suspicions places mm -hmm. Or other energies? Do you feel anything is not yours? No? Any discomfort do you feel? No. Okay. All right. As you heard, Bob was able to let go of his past and reunite with his mom. He chose to free Angela and move on to the next stage in his journey. It is very fulfilling how in introspective hypnosis sessions you end up helping more than just the client. You console each attachment so they can move on to the other side.